A summertime high resolution satellite looking into the Caribbean, of course, the islands, Guadeloupe, Martinique, and then of course, if you look at that little tiny dot right there, that is St. Croix to the east of Puerto Rico. But what is this brownish milky thing right there? Well, it says it right at the top. That is Saharan dust. Dust from the Sahara Desert that left Africa traveling westward across the Atlantic as it typically does in June, July and August. And of course, it creates a haze. Now, this is a picture taken at a golf course in St. Croix by Taylor Pinder. In the distance, you see the haze of little tiny particles of dust floating in the air. It's something that happens routinely in the summertime. It is tens and tens of millions and millions of tons of dust that cross Africa, the Atlantic, the Caribbean, and eventually head into the Gulf of Mexico, although typically more diluted by then. Now we can see it much more clearly on high resolution satellite than we have ever seen before. It's not totally unusual, but now it's easier to track. As I mentioned, from June, July into August, very common. It's the same steering wind that moves tropical systems across the Atlantic. And what the dust does in a positive sense, at least for people, is it tends to reduce tropical weather. In other words, it doesn't totally stop it, but it limits the opportunity for growth. Now, along with the dust, you get a lot of dry air that also reduces tropical systems. The dust carries nutrients that fertilize oceans and land, which on one hand is good, on the other hand, if it over fertilizes the oceans, you get harmful algal bloom, something we've seen in the Gulf of Mexico. So that's one of the negatives. The other huge negative is it reduces visibility, especially in the Western countries of Africa. And it's an immediate threat to air quality for people who have asthma or any other breathing difficulty. So it's a fascinating thing to watch. You can take a same high resolution satellite and change the color scale so that it's a little more obvious where the dust is fairly thin, now relatively thin in the Caribbean, but off the coast of Africa, you see the brighter colors, meaning it's much more thick there. That's the point of origin. Here's another different perspective by satellite, two locations, uh, at least in the mid to late June, but it's been several weeks of seeing those waves and waves of dust moving into the Atlantic, into the Caribbean, possibly getting to the Gulf of Mexico. So a fascinating sight, dust in the wind. I'm Chief Meteorologist Alan Seals.